What has the process been like to retool these factories to make sanitizer? You know, it wasn't that hard. Um, I have to tell you, uh, when you start with ethanol as the base of making spirits, um, having spirits um, manufacturing then convert to hand sanitizer was not that difficult. And I have to tell you, um, you heard a lot today about uh, what's happening in New York and with the NYPD, uh, our frontline folks. And so uh, we just found out from the White House that uh, our next shipment of over 6,000 uh, gallons of hand sanitizer is going straight to the NYPD. Wow. And how did Pernod Ricard decide it was their responsibility to make sanitizer? Listen, um, it was one of those things that uh, we felt was important to do for the community. Uh, within a day of this uh, crisis hitting, our head of manufacturing uh, came to us and basically said, hey, I know how to make hand sanitizer. Uh, we had our, our folks in public affairs uh, work with the White House uh, and the uh, commission that is working on uh, the COVID uh, crisis, the task force. And within 48 hours, working with uh, Peter Navarro, we were able to get all the clearance we needed. And within three days, we were up and running and producing at our first facility in uh, Fort Smith, Texas, or Fort Smith, Arkansas. Wow. And, and two shipments of hand sanitizer already shipped to New York. I believe you just mentioned that. So what areas are you focusing on sending supplies to? How do you really target some of those hotspots that you were mentioning just a moment ago? Sure. I mean, uh, we uh, work directly with FEMA, um, and FEMA decides... Uh, where the greatest needs are, and they tell us where to go ship uh, the hand sanitizer. Uh, we continue to monitor, especially with the NYPD, to see if uh, we need to continue to supply them. Uh, but uh, we're now looking to the White House and FEMA to help us understand what the distribution needs to be.